Hey friends, me Jenny here, and we're about to play this game. It's called Soul Wars. It's a free online multiplayer game that my partner Martian Games created. So obviously I'm biased and really excited to share this with you. <laughs> it's up on crazygames.com, but you can also find it hosted on martiangames.com. So yeah, let's see. Um, right now I might be the only person here, but hopefully if we just create a new room, then people will join us. <laughs> What's up with the encoding options for affiliates? What what did you mean, friend? It's randomized or cool. So if anyone does want to play this with me, the first thing you want to do after either creating a room or joining a room that already exists is you want to upgrade your stuff because you're you start off rich, man. You got like five hundred bucks. And you can go like, bam, 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 I want this, that, the other thing. It's like instant gratification. Uh, shield, all right. Random, if the server you connect to has options. Interesting. Hey there, John. Cool, Um. so Martian Games, here's I think the closest one. Um, the very first link on there, the crazygames.com slash uh, soul wars. And then you can just find my name on there. It's Jenny Nexus and join whatever room we got. Okay, cool. So there's only a couple of rooms so far. Graham, my beloved subscriber. <laughs> and John, actually. <laughs> my biggest bit donator. All right, so I have not tried streaming this yet. So it's 3.40 in the morning for me. I don't know if that means if the game will be probably not busy at this hour of the day. Right now we're playing against bots because uh, we're the only human playing apparently, so that's okay. Sometimes like you gotta deal with bots and that's a good thing. Um, so one thing you'll wanna do is to uh, shoot the asteroids because the asteroids are what will give you more uh, recharge and turbo speed. And there's two different rooms so far. There's this badass one, it's the asteroid belt room. Uh, thank you for the auto host extra. I noticed earlier that I was hosting extra who's an amazing game developer And now he's auto hosting me how cool We got to get some discord going for this game friend sounds like fun So yeah, we may or may not have good frame rate We'll find out because this game looks fine When I'm not streaming, but right now it looks a little bit choppy uh, frame rate, but just depends on your system, whether or not you're using a potato or not. But Martian Games was really clever in the way that he programmed this so that if you are using a potato, then the game will adjust based on your capabilities. <laughs> so yeah, the more you destroy these asteroids, then there's a really cute little thing. You'll see those blue kind of like uh, lens flares <laughs> come like towards you. That means that you're recharging your um, your rechar uh, your turbo and stuff. So it was really funny. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do today. We got home from the coffee shop, and I was like, I wanna stream some game development or something. But then I just started playing Soul Wars, and I'm like, all right, I think I should just play some Soul Wars. <laughs> Looks fine on the stream. Sweet. Thanks, Graham. Cool. Thanks for letting me know. And uh, hopefully John can show up. Right now we got Noob. You can create a name for yourself if you want, but I'm on the blue team. And I'm Jenny Nexus, but we got Noob8822 in the house. Maybe that's John. <laughs> so yeah, this is the game that Martian Games has been working on for the last month or two. And um, luckily he's got somewhat ADD, kind of like how I do. So he's always got a handful of projects working that he's working on. Buttery smooth. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Yeah, we got the kitty. She's literally laying up against my forearm as usual, so that's good luck. Um, I guess you can kind of see the cat out of the corner of the camera. Um, but yeah, so I'm just uh, just chilling here. You're so, it's pretty. Thanks, friend. That's what I thought. Because you know how Martian Games, he's been working on the capture the flag style game for so long that a lot of the things like 
the flagpole that you see right here is actually a flagpole that I made for his games like a while ago, a couple years ago actually. That little flagpole with the, um, oh no! Okay, so someone else picked up or dropped off a flag before we, okay, so it's us versus three people. We don't have bots anymore. We actually had some people join our, our group. Oh, there's someone behind us. Who's that? John Castillo? <laughs> so yeah, this is a WebGL game that you can play on the computer, but not on mobile. So sorry about that. Sorry, not sorry. Um, so yeah, there's some things that I got to help in this game. Not, not much, but uh, the flagpole was from an earlier Capture the Flag game that he did a while back. And I got to 3D model the, the flagpole with those cool little gems in there. But then for this particular game, the one thing I got to help with was the emissive map on the, the aircraft, the spacecraft. So you see where the purple part is on my tailpipe. And then um, how it's like super bright blue on the other parts. That's like the only thing we did uh, that I got to do because Martian, he's kind of like an art collector when it comes to... Um, like having cool uh, assets, like asset packages and stuff. Martian Games, like he has a shit ton of Unity assets that he's collected over the years. Oh god, okay, we uh, someone killed that person. <laughs> so all these assets are um, assets that he has had or been collecting over the years um, as well. But um, he always gets new stuff for whatever game he's working on. We just returned the flag. Let's go get another one. And so, um, I did not by any means create any of these assets, but I did do the em emissive maps for the spacecraft. Um, not just this one, but there's, I think, two or three, I think there's only two different, um, spacecrafts. And the only thing I did was, um, adjust the emissive map on them so they look more neon, reflect, uh, so they look like they got cooler emissive lighting on, on the spacecraft. That one looks like I can't even see his name. Oh, okay, well, noob, 5130, I'm coming for you. Oh, he's not even dead yet. He's probably going to come and get revenge on me. They, see, they should use more pre-made assets in your projects. Yeah, on one hand, I can really see the appeal in having totally original content. But boy, did I- Hey, Graham Weldon was killed! I thought he was walking home from work or something. Graham Weldon's in the game? How are you playing if you're- What are you, like, walking with your laptop? <laughs> oh, wait, I think he said that he's on the train, maybe. Cool. That would be fun to get the, the Discord working, in fact. At one point, I got the Discord overlay working, but that was when I had XSplit. Now I'm using slobs. So I'll have to get Discord working again, but in slobs this time. Look at someone trying to get me. I bet that's Graham. Oh, Graham's on my team. Yay. Ah, oh, hurts your scope, Yursa. Well, once I realized, like, I mean, I, I tried to make that low poly chibi character, and I just, it was so many, like, so many ups and downs. I probably had, like, a handful of panic attacks, and then in the end, my art was not even all that good, and I'm not trying to say that anyone can't create badass artwork because for what it was worth my art was cute or whatever but I was just like god for all the hell I went through I was really happy that my most recent project that I'm working on the sci-fi space girl uh, project um, it's like I'm, I'm using pre-made assets to kind of give me a chance to instead of suffering through the attempt at making everything from scratch instead I'm like trying to learn a little bit more about level design and programming but boy am I really bad at programming <laughs> but that's like Martian's specialty obviously so I'm getting programming lessons and working with assets that make me feel in a way confident in a different type of way confident because at least while I'm learning the other hard stuff like programming I'm I feel like I'm already ahead of the game in terms of things looking already good number one only second by Graham Wilton, one of my only few subscribers, <laughs> Twitch subscribers. Cool. So then uh, Martian was so smart, <laughs> he put the little um, advertisements for his other games that are both also hosted on Crazy Game site at the end screen there. So the end screen, it hardly takes any time at all 
to load the new game, which is fucking awesome. Because I don't know about you guys, but um, when I was playing Fortnite, and that was like one of my favorite, um, I haven't played it in a while, but we were going on a rampage, like playing Fortnite every night before bed. I think that's Graham Weldon shooting at us to say hello because it was blue. <laughs> yeah, ones that can feel cohesive. That's how we feel about um, the ones in this in this game. He found like a handful that looked pretty damn good together. Um, the only other thing that I got to help with um, to adjust one thing about the assets is we also try to make it um, make the assets as unique as possible. So that's where I come in. I get to help with some polish and like trying to make things look a little bit different than straight out of the box, you know, because say you got an asset package, you don't want to just asset flip is what they call it. You don't want it to just look like the exact asset package because especially if you get any actual game devs playing your game and they've ever gone to the Unity asset store, they'll probably recognize that asset flip, be like, oh, they didn't change anything about that game at all. That's just an asset flip or whatever. But luckily in this case, um, Martian added his own touch and he added the cohesive packages together so yay we returned a flag right now it's a little bit unfair it's four of us versus two noobs i'm obviously the highest level <laughs> thanks yersa we'll play a different map in a moment but i'm just so excited that we got graham in the house playing right now um so the other map is the one where you can see this other thing that i got to help with which was like i was saying not much but <laughs> Hey gentlemen, Dapper, what's up, friend? Yay! Asset stores are fine for indie games. That's what we're that's what we're saying. Especially like Martian games is obviously not a noob like me. Hopefully Graham Graham picks up the flag and returns it. Let's see if he gets it. He's got it. Let's just follow him and make sure he returns it safely. There's Graham, our friend from chat. <laughs> yeah, you need cohesive. Yeah, good luck finding more than one asset package that looks cohesive. I'm just playing, friend, when I shoot at you. That's just me saying hello. <laughs> he thinks it's someone else, but um, I think that Martian Games, he made a little bit more effort to make it pretty fucking obvious when you're either on the blue team or the red team because I'm like, I told him how I am a dork and even though it should be totally obvious that um, as soon as I'm in game and I got people like shooting at me and I'm like, oh, you know, like all flustered, I'll forget like what team I'm on and I'm looking around and I'm trying to tell what color I am. And in this Martian games game, it's the most clear to me that I'm on the blue team right now because my tailpipe is blue, my, my shots are blue. If someone else is shooting at me, it's like really blue. It's no question about it. Whereas like some of his other games, like even Air Wars, which is one of my favorites, uh, that one is a little bit hard for me to tell. I should have figured it out by like, oh, just look up in the top left or the top right to see, you know, which, um, you know. Look at our other teammate has the flag now so we can follow him and make sure he gets it back safely. There's like nobody actually now on the red team, so. Poor noob. <laughs> he doesn't even have any challenge at all. One thing is, is that certain times of day, like the players for the Martian games, games, <laughs> they'll um, be playing at certain times of days. Like for whatever reason, he's really popular in Brazil. So whatever is like prime time for people in Brazil um, is usually when you'll find more players in these multiplayer games. Really clashing stuff in Kingdom Hearts. Did the new Kingdom Hearts already come out? Because I saw some gameplay footage, I think, from E3. I've never actually played it, but I know some people who swear by it and say that Kingdom Hearts is their favorite game ever. Oh, look at uh, Graham's got the flag. I don't know, but probably Graham will see. Okay, my face cam is covering up the fact that this game also has chat in game so i just said <laughs> i was all graham telling graham because he's in here he's all omg <laughs> there we go <laughs> oh not not out for a bit okay cool 
Pirates of the Caribbean models in Kingdom Hearts 2 just looked so out of the out of place. Cool. Yeah, we were definitely watching a lot of the conferences and stuff um, from E3, and uh, even though I hadn't played Kingdom Hearts yet, I have seen some of my friends play it on Twitch, and uh, Martian said that he thought that this one looked out actually pretty cool, the one that's coming out um, early 2019, I guess. <laughs> Uh, you're so, I really liked your uh, Ludum Dare game. I wound up playing that and I, I was even referencing it to a friend he wanted to collaborate. And I was like, here's a great example of a game that would be easy. Not easy, but you know. I was like, my friend Yursa made this with his team in only a weekend. And this guy that wanted to make a game together, he only just made one little tiny game like five years ago. But I was like, you know, if we wanted to do something simple, because he wanted to do, to do the art, I think. But he's never used Unity. I don't, I was like, here's, like, you could do first person, you know, type of thing, or, um, whatever. Uh, what the fuck, barbecue? <laughs> oh, great, now there's only one person left. Oh, now, now I feel bad leaving, because now there's actually a person on the red team. Let's wait until Graham returns that flag. And then we'll dip out. <laughs> Yeah, my dream is to be rich enough to, like, have enough, like, free time to work on, like, just totally, like, personal projects and, like, the type that could be considered, like, abstract or, like, less likely to become, you know, popular because, like, oh, no, now there's one other person on our team. All right, after this minute is up, then we'll do it. Graham still hasn't returned the flag? Okay, almost. Let's get this guy. This guy's probably after Graham. Oh, no, this other guy's got the flag. Get him, Graham. Ah! <laughs> crush five? That means we crushed into him. So if you crush into another teammate, then you get extra XP there. And we get assist because Graham killed that guy, but we helped. There's all these different cool ways that Martian uh, added to the gameplay value and the point system, which I thought was unique. Um, it's kind of cool that if you help your teammate, then you get extra points for working as a team. I feel like a lot of games they don't do that you know and it's just like all for themselves like Fortnite oh yeah that thing about Fortnite I was gonna mention earlier even though I haven't been playing Fortnite recently the fact that when you die and it takes forever to like reload the next game just like slitting my wrists out of boredom just like waiting forever and if you suck like me then you just are in that waiting room for way too much all right cool so Oh, did we go to the lobby? Oops. Alright. Yay. So there's also a chat in the lobby here. Alright, cool. So that was the asteroid belt. Let's create a new room. So I can show you guys the moon base, the moon base. Now we're starting to get Freelancer MOBA. <laughs> I never played a game called Freelancer. I thought that was just a website. Is that also a game? Thank you for playing uh, Graham Weldon, it's so much fun. No way, Freelancer is a legendary game. <laughs> is it free? <laughs> I'm cool. So here's the other one I got to help with the um, emissive lights on that one too. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's do it. You're drinking whiskey? I got some wine, friend. It's already like four in the morning for us, so I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna play Soul Wars, and I'm gonna drink some wine. I don't care what anyone says. Like, no one's gonna judge me. I'm gonna go where no one will judge me to Twitch. <laughs> Lately, we've been dealing with the stresses of life by getting these giant bottles of cheap wine. And I'm sorry, but if it's expensive or it's less expensive, if it's red wine and it's not in a box, then I will drink it. Right now, I've only got bots. Oh, you forgot your password. It's like this game, but story driven, where you begin small and have to do missions to get money. Cool to upgrade and everything. Nice. Ooh, that's great. Right now I'm, I'm up against four bots, so 
Thanks for playing, Graham. That was really fun. Did you say that you were walking home earlier? Or you like were on your way home and then you got home or something and now you're drinking whiskey? I honestly, if it was whiskey or vodka, I would not drink the cheap shit, especially not out of a plastic bottle. That's like just a recipe for disaster. I would wind up bowing down to the porcelain gods. <laughs> but if it's red wine, and I don't really like boxed red wine, but if it's even if it's twist off, I'll drink it. So red wine, I find it to relax me, and there's no way I could drink so much that I would get totally shit faced. So red wine's pretty cool uh, in my opinion. I guess you can come in as a noob if you don't remember your password. Um, otherwise, Martian, he's he'll be back in a little bit, so then he'll he can look up your password. When in doubt, I would just guess that your password was boobs, because that's usually that's usually the password. <laughs> it's at like four in the morning, and I'm like, anyone want to come play Soul Wars with me? <laughs> It's just me versus the bots. So yeah, the other thing that I got to help with to make unique was something. It wasn't from an asset package. I think it was from a 3D site. This thing is called the Nubian Complex. It's right here, this big round thing. <laughs> Looks like a bunch of different cylinders, all chamfered cylinder style over here. It's kind of dark to see, but it's this thing. And I got to help um, because it was like way too high poly. So, you can hardly see because it it's so big. We're like, let me get it from a distance and I'll show it to you again. Um, but this, like, oh, good, we got a noob in the house. Is that one of our friends or is that just a random noob? <laughs> Usually, earlier today, like, there were rooms that were filled up, but that was like at a reasonable hour of the day. Okay, so this, this Nubian complex right there, that's the one that I got to help with. And um, it kind of clips into view because of the LOD, which is the um, level of detail. So the further away you are, the less you'll see, but the closer you get, then it kind of like pops into view. Sometimes it's a little bit more smooth, but something about the way it had to be done. <laughs> Plus we are on a time limit for this game, so we had to pay rent. Cool, thanks for hanging out, friends. Even if it's not gonna be a super long stream or anything, I just wanted to show you guys Soul Wars. Blah, blah, Soul Wars. <laughs> there it is. Actually, the stream actually looks a little bit more smooth than the game for me, almost. like <laughs> I think the stream preview looks awesome to me. I am so excited. Probably every day I'll do a little bit more... Um, Soul Wars. <laughs> we'll start off all the streams with a little Soul Wars from now on. I'm literally only drinking one glass of red wine, but I'm already feeling a little bit perked up. I felt like I was getting tired earlier, but now I'm starting to get perked up. So lonely without anyone else playing. I right, let's get a flag. Noob grabbed the flag! Alright, so if we don't return this flag before he returns his flag that he got, then we'll lose our opportunity. See that flagpole? I modeled that little thing back in the day. Eh, that's pretty much all I did. On this. I didn't really do much in this game, but whenever possible, I, I like to contribute. Um, Martian basically did all the programming and um, it's his engine that he's been working on for a while, like including the Air Wars and the Air Wars like flying mechanics and stuff. All right, we returned it. So there was no game for Soul Wars yet on Twitch, so I put game development because we're talking about Martian games developing it, but also um, if we finish this and we're not totally passed out yet, I'll show you guys a little bit of the Sci-Fi Girl project that I was working on the other day and I'll show you what um, 
what progress that I've made since then. It's so late though, honestly. Like, I would like to do a nice full-fledged stream for like a few hours, maybe tomorrow. Um, lately I've been a little bit uh, distracted. <laughs> Oh, that guy left. All right, well, we can go to the lobby and see if anyone else is playing. Oh, good day, too. <laughs> Martian's here. We noticed a bug. What was the bug, friend? All right, well, there's... I guess they like the asteroid belt better, or maybe they don't realize that they can go to different ones. Bots will not return when all players departed the room? Uh oh. Cool, look at this one still filled up with all these people. Oh, look at it. <laughs> wow, I like just died. I, I got in and then I died and then I was still only in like fourth place. Yes. Look at that, just only uh, several seconds to start the level again, unlike Fortnite where I would have to wait for like 10 minutes. Ha, <laughs> you mean fortunately. <laughs> Good one, gentlemen, Dapper. <laughs> Yay. So what was that game called? There's a game called Freelancer that is a uh, reminiscence of this game. We're, we're gonna have to check that out. You haven't lived until you die. I'm getting better at aiming, but look at that guy really beefed up his, um, what's it called? <laughs> armor. He beefed up his armor, so it's hard to kill him. I love the music. It's so badass. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Martian Games in the house! <laughs> oh, unfortunate for me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You mean when then when there's nobody else to play with in the multiplayer and then uh, at least you then have bots <laughs> I was like oh suddenly I'm playing with myself <laughs> I, I don't think that that's allowed on twitch I love the way the sparkles like come to me when I blow up the asteroids boo Martian says noob <laughs> what the hell? are you in the game how come someone just said that in the game Oh, I think that might be Graham because Graham said he forgot what his password was. <laughs> These sort of games are real popular in browser game sites, so it's how we pay our bills. Hell yeah. Better be good. I noticed that this was on the front row, on the first row on Crazy Games. I know, I think that that site gets ram randomized, kind of. Uh, but based on interactions, so, but this was definitely on the front top row. <laughs> it's not Graham, he says. My face cam is covering up the game chat, but totally Graham's in the chat. <laughs> Seven, nine, eight, three. Good, we're on the same team. Yeah, that guy is just having a good old time flying around in circles. He's like making sure that no one gets the flag. I'm gonna get the flag. It'll be really cool when there's like, oh, he got the flag first, right? I'll try to protect him. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry, man. I got, sometimes I just, Lose track. All right. Where are you, friend? I just had a brain fart. I forget what I was just saying, but something important. There goes Graham. 
<laughs> Noob. Four multiplayer games on their front page now. Yes. Yeah, this one I think was the closest to the very first uh, game. It was like number six or seven. Definitely on the front, on the first row as well as the front page. Yay! Yeah, because uh, I'm not sure their exact algorithm, but it's like how much interaction plus how popular or something. I wish that my work spoke for itself. Instead, I'm always just posting selfies and stuff. <laughs> Martian Games, he doesn't even need to like post like daily updates on his Twitter or anything. He's like, yeah, once every six months I'll post on Twitter. He'll like log into his Twitter and have like 70 notifications and I'll be like, friend, <laughs> oh my God. My Twitter doesn't get by without like, like every three notifications, I'll definitely notice. I'll be like, oh my God, I got a notification. <laughs> Asteroid. Maybe tomorrow I'll do um, a longer stream with the, uh, like someone's trying to kill me. Who is it? How dare you? Where are you, fucker? Oh my god. Gotta get better at my dog fighting. Woof. <laughs> Take that. Need to eat? Oh my god, you have pizza, friend? That's out of control. Thank you for hanging out, um, Graham. Thanks for playing. Okay, me against these three noobs. No problem. I got this. Oh my god. Well, yeah, but it's it's already 4.10 in the morning. Thanks for thinking of us, though, friend. I heard that Treat Stream, um, turns out that they offer gluten-free. So I, like, updated my, my Treat Stream options and everything. But I'm, like, almost... 110% sure that they don't do it at this hour. <laughs> I think it's like only regular hours of the day they do treat stream. A uh, virtual pizza. Thanks, friend. We we had a snack earlier, so we're not like starving or anything. We got lots of groceries. We got groceries and snacks and coffee and wine. Hell yeah, whiskey and pizza. That's a wonderful combination. You have so much whiskey, <laughs> yes. You said you work today, friend? Do you, you normally have a nice, like, whiskey or, or 10 before bed to wind down? Day off, fuck yeah. Remember that one time you were helping us with the website for Purgatory Fell? And you were like, when the first time you helped us, you were like, I'm about three whiskeys in, but I'll still help you on Discord and everything while we were streaming. And then like later we, s we needed help again and you're like, okay, well now I'm like eight whiskeys in or something. <laughs> that must've been your day off too. <laughs> that was fun. Oh my God, right now you're 10 whiskeys in. How much is a whiskey? Is that just one shot worth or is that like a whole like pint? <laughs> oh God. Kitty's being such a little doll. I don't know that you guys can see her, but. Oh, 1.75 standard drinks. Cool. I like how my background matches the Soul Wars game. I'm all about that. Look at that. Ooh, look at someone who's level five. Oh God. What? Oh, we won. Oh no, they won. Someone had just like joined on my team who's level five. Oh, these, these things. Where's the audio? Huh. Oh, suddenly I don't hear the game audio. <sighs> I thought it was my headphones because sometimes these do crap out, but Thanks, friends. 
Damn. All right, let's uh go to the lobby. Let me try reloading this game. <laughs> Graham says, nice game, and tell me your multiplayer secrets. Uh, oh, multiplayer secrets? Yeah. Who wants to know all your multiplayer? Oh, there it goes. Alright. For some reason, I just had to re reload the page. Cool. All right, here we go. I can't wait till I can upgrade. Oh my god, I only just need to get to level two. That's soon. Damn. Well, we uh, reloaded and now we're on the other team, so... Kitty is so sweet. And she, oops, sorry. I had to like pet the cat, but then I'm like spinning out of control. Hopefully we can at least just capture and return a few more flags because if we can get to level two, then we can upgrade our vehicle. Oh no, level five's already gonna kick my ass. Damn it. No. Oh my god. Who is this guy's speed? Is that like a regular Air Wars player? Because I think that there's some crossover between um, Air Wars is like Martian's other most popular flying game. And so some of those players are crossing over into this one. They have a lot of uh, practice with the... Um, Flying <laughs> mechanics and stuff. Like that big fatty over there. See, he's got a giant upgraded ship. Look at speed. I'm pretty sure that he is from <laughs> Flag Lives Matter. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious, friend. We should make that into a shirt. How is he already level 5, dude? This game just came out today. He must be a fucking Air Wars player. Oh no, he's definitely gonna kill me. Oh, oh my God, little cat is sleeping right next to me. Oh my God, look at him. He's just gonna keep on coming after me. Oh no. His teammate is like literally just running into walls because when it says that they commit suicide, that means you just accidentally killed yourself. Ah, Martian Games. Oh god, damn it. I almost captured the flag. Yeah, Martian Games, there's plenty of other players that are better than him. I'm not I'm not trying to talk down, I'm just saying that he's he told me that that some of his players are more skilled than he is. Right, friend? Only takes about two hours to get to level five. Unless you're mean and you're still on level one. Because <laughs> I like to take my sweet ass time. I'm always on the scenic route schedule. And it takes you two hours for five whiskeys. <laughs> so yeah, um, even though like doing the exploit thing was an option, I've been like hooked on slobs and slobs been working out working out all right for me so I gotta figure out how to do that discord thing on slobs uh, I just have to redo it um, or whatever so he just gives a question mark he's not even all that super friendly <laughs> he says ha yes I know you guys can't see the game chat. I'll move my face cam for the next round or something, but 
Um, I'm all Air Wars 2 player, and he's like, yes, ha. Ooh, forced cupcake? Forced fed cupcake is someone's name. Cool. Oh, that's my own goddamn teammate. I'm all shooting at them. If I can just return this flag, then I can sleep at night. Damn it! He's willing to do anything to, to, um, to rescue his flag from being... Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Sorry. I'm <laughs> just like, he's get some, some just want to return the flag and they don't even care about you. While others will definitely do whatever it takes to kill you. C for cockpit. What kind of a pit? Sorry, bad attempted joke there. Damn it, all I ever really want to do is return the flag, but it feels good when someone's actually after you. Damn it! Fuck, dudes. I suck. And I'm good at it, too. Look at Force Cupcake trying to save me. He's good at dogfighting. Look at him go. Get him, get him! Ah! <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah, also my right click, I guess, is... Thanks, Ren. Uh, haha. <sighs> Some more strategy. Well, hey, look, I'm not alive for long, but I am still alive. Damn it! Dude, the Air Wars 2 player is going to kick my ass. Yay, I got a second place. Hey, I'm level 2. Oh, wait, no, that's two kills. Any day now. Fly better. <laughs> and or drink more. Cheers. <laughs> That's the trick. <laughs> Every day is like another opportunity to try to suck less. John, which noob were you, friend? Thank you for playing. Were you on my team? I'm sorry if I killed you. <laughs> right now I'm getting my ass kicked by speed. Feels good, man. <laughs> Yay, John and Graham. You guys both came in and played with us. That was fun. Us as in me. <laughs> I'll go for a little bit longer and then before we're done, then I'll show you guys my new project. I'll show you the uh, progress that I made since the other day. Damn it, he's after me. I can tell the big boy is behind me. Haha. <laughs> that guy would rather commit suicide and run into a wall than get killed by me. That's how I'm feeling right now. Fuck. Me in the butt. Alright. I still get proportion to XP. Oh, okay, cool. Yay, John. Yeah, I had to restart and then I was like on the red team now. So thank you for playing, friend. I was trying to show a little bit of each map since there's only two. Well, not only, but there's two maps and um, yeah, they're, 
I am so excited about this game. So far, it's my favorite Martian games game. Besides the original Martian Wars, which was like one of my favorites. That came out right before the Unity web player got depreciated. And there was like so many people uh, playing that game at first. And then as soon as Unity web player got shut down, then it went down to like zero. It was so depressing. Yeah, five weeks. Kablamo! <laughs> I love my kitty. She's so sweet right next to me. Where are you, big boy? Speed arena. Ah! Is he gonna let me get him? Oh my god. He's flying straight in a row, trying to let me get him. He's probably just going for the flag. Why is he so far? I need to like turbo up, man. He's like invincible. Look at how big he is and somehow I'm still like hardly ever able to get him. Look at no matter how hard I try, there's no way that I'm gonna take him down. Not without like force fed cupcakes help. Oh my god, look at me trying for days to get him. He's way faster than me. Haven't checked your Discord messages? Oh. Oh, Martian hasn't checked his Discord. I guess that's something I should check for him. Yeah, he just signed into Twitter today to share about Soul Wars. And he had like 70 unread notifications. I was like, oh my god, dude. I can't go a day, let alone maybe a few hours without checking my Twitter. Discord, I always check my private messages, but I don't often check the whole, um... If you put me in a group message on Discord, I'll see it sooner and I can tell him. But I don't know that that'll help. <laughs> last week, the last couple weeks we had a little stress, but we're over, we're better now. <laughs> At least we got like, um, rent paid and all that shit taken care of. All that boring ass shit that like, gotta do that before you can have too much fun now. <laughs> I'm your PR. <laughs> is that level five? Yeah, level five that joined a speed, I guess. He said that he is also an Air Wars 2 player. That's Martian Games' other um, pretty popular flying game that people have been playing for a long time. And it's got pretty similar flying mechanics. So speed said that he was also an Air Wars 2 player, I asked. So thanks again, you guys, for being my loyal friends here on stream. I wish um, the last couple weeks were a little bit more consistent, but um, I'm going to do my damnedest to get back to streaming three to five times a week. And I uh, really love streaming. It's definitely one of my favorite hobbies. <laughs> one of my favorite hobbies that I would also like to become a, a career one day. I mean, if not streaming, then game development with the side dish of streaming as a, my career. That's the dream. So, one good thing about streaming and uh, working for yourself <laughs> is that like you can choose your own days off, but then you also have to like make sure that you work enough to pay the bills. With some sort of like fucked up fine line. Are you drinking a lot of coffee? <laughs> Five peed. <laughs> Get it in. Oh, the cat is, she's stretching. Yay, someone who is not level five that I could just kill. Gosh, I'm trying to get to level two before we quit. <gasps> oh God, that scared the shit out of me. I thought I could just fly right through this. I don't know what I thought I was invincible or something. 
Five P captured three flags already. He probably didn't even realize that. Golden Shower reference when he chose that name. Look, there he is. There's that big fatty. Five peed. Damn it. Oh, he's so good evading me. Me and Cupcake. I don't even care about the noob. I want to take down five peed. Oh my god, now I'm third place? I can't take this. Rage quit. No, just kidding. <laughs> hey, Graham, are you eating that pizza yet? And how, how does it taste, friend? Speed says, I think red team went mad. <laughs> yeah, we've always been mad. Oh man, here he comes. He must have read my post. I did warn them. I was like, I am streaming. Oh god. <laughs> oh cool, someone else who's level four on our team. Thank goodness. Omen. Cool name. <laughs> I need to uh, harvest more asteroids. Okay. That's one of my favorite hobbies too. That and streaming. Luckily, we got uh, level four on our team now. Whoa, someone killed speed. And they got like 7,000 points because of it. That was freaking awesome. That's maybe one of speed's friends. I wonder if they have the same name in this game as they do in Air Wars. Do I get the most amount of points by killing other players or? Because if possible, I want to level up to level two so at least I can um, get a better ship. People are starting to wake up and play. Yeah, we got a full room now. It's already 4.30 in the morning. But this is only just Washington. I bet you that everyone else is like on the East Coast or something. So much fun with a full room. Yay, today's Friday. I'm not sure what kind of a nice long stream I could do today, but we, we did rent Detroit. So, I mean, we could do a PS4 Detroit stream later. Um, anyone here lurking in chat? What do you guys think about Detroit? Would you want to see me start that game? I don't know that I'll play all the way through it, but I would definitely play some on stream. Ah, I died. I made new Martian game uh, command for chat, so anytime you guys want Martian games, the one who, the guy who made this game, if you ever want his links, you can do exclamation mark Martian games, or my short link is just MG. Look at how beautiful that um, that fuel looks like comes out. What's that stuff called? Where it's like. Where the heat warps the air. Look at how beautiful that is.
Heat bends the path of light. So beautiful. Diffraction, that's right. Look at here comes big bad boy. There he goes. No, ain't no one ever gonna take him down. At least not, probably not me. Look at him dog fighting his ass off. Damn. Fuck. So pretty. Look at how beautiful purple and it matches my back, um, not green screen, my red screen back there. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh my God, a cat's being so adorable. I guess I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make it to level two today. <laughs> hey, got assist, nice. Well, let's at least wait until the end of this round, I guess. See if we can get any other noobs. I need way more asteroids to fuel up. So much fun. This is so much fun. Sorry, little buddy. Aw, speed left. That guy went mad, he says. Oh, speed's back now. Also, just diffraction effects on on my own blue turbo. It's so beautiful, right there in your face. Someone named Drift. Cool. So pretty, look at how beautiful. They should have like, they, <laughs> we should have like a screenshot button like how on Steam you can just press F12 at any point and it'll take a screenshot. Look at me, second place, yay, six kills. I should make a new chat command for Soul Wars, but if anyone is curious about this game, Martian Games created it and he's my partner. He does PC games and he did a VR game last March, but this is his most recent release, Soul Wars. And you can play it for free. It's multiplayer, uh, space shooter, arena, capture the flag type of game. And it's live on crazygames.com and martiangames.com. So if anyone is curious wants to play, oh my god, the cat just rolled over on me. She's so cute. <laughs> All right, when we start spinning out of control, it's usually because I'm petting the cat. Oh, do we have a new project after this one? That's a great question, Yursa. Martian, what kind of games do you like to play? I could answer for you, but since you're here in chat. 
He likes Planet Side 2 and Halo. That much I know. <laughs> what are some of your other favorite ones? Those are some of his favorites, at least. Uh... Oh, and Rocket League. He plays Rocket League every day. And ironically, he came out with Soccer Cows like a week before Rocket League came out. Which is where you drive around and smack a uh, soccer ball um, with cars. Hey, it's Helix VR. Hi, friend. Nice to see you. Is that seven or another one of the teammates? <laughs> Approximate by date. <laughs> Leisure suit, Larry. I remember that when I was a kid, too. My older brothers brought that up. I thought that was hilarious. Half Life. Oh, cool, seven. Sweet, friend. Nice to see you. We're playing the most recent release by Martian Games here. Um, when he's not making, well, t he made one VR game, The Purgatory Fell, but usually he does PC games, so this is like the newest rendition of uh, Capture the Flag, and this one's set in space with new spacecrafts and stuff. Hey, Hooper, 4K, what's up? Thank you for the follow. Uncharted, yeah. Hey there, Hooper. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining. Oh man, alright, we finally got the flag. My goal is to get to level 2. Oh, I'm at level 2 now! Crushing those dreams. Look at how beautiful that uh, heat diffraction is, friends. You wanna join? Okay! Sweet, friend. Yeah, this is a free game if you wanna play. Are you in game right now? Cool, you like the game design. Hear that, Martian Games? Sweet, the dev is in chat, so we appreciate that. There's the <laughs> delayed alert for the follow. Thanks, Ryan. Oh my god, if only I can return this flag, I will be so happy. Oh no, someone else returned the other flag faster than I could. Oh well. <laughs> Put me in a cockpit in this game in VR. Yeah, maybe he could make this a VR, but you would have to be like immune to the motion sickness probably. <laughs> You can get into cockpit mode like this, but I just, I feel like my speed, I mean my flying sucks more in the cockpit. Super pretty though, huh? Um, this, oh. My partner, Martian Games here in chat, he's the one that programmed this game. And I got to help with a little bit of the detailing, such as the emissive lights on the spacecrafts. I got to help with the emissive maps so they look more neon. But Martian Games did all the programming for this, and let me see if I can, there's a little link to Martian. Oh, you need to play the Uncharted series. I only played number four, but I loved it. I played, that's actually one of the first AAA games that I played all the way through on stream. Yay! Hell yeah, Martian can answer some questions since he's here in chat. I could half-ass the answer, but since he's here. <laughs> Yay! Meanwhile, Graham Weldon, one of my few honorary subscribers here on Twitch. <laughs> okay, someone's already got the flag for our team, so let's just take a quick sip of wine. Uh-oh. Who's getting us? Ah, oh, noob killed me. Sometimes people, they don't bother to give themselves a username in the game, but you can totally give yourself a special username. And sometimes they'll say noob, but they're not really a noob. They know what, exactly what they're doing. It's a way to be undercover awesome <laughs> at this game. Oh, four years of development. Yeah, Martian Games is really good at doing like um, iterations and like every time he releases a game he adds new features and like adds to the code that he's been building on. And he's been my Unity mentor for about five years now. Hey Zombie Pirate, nice to see you friend. Thank you for that lurk support and uh, hope you have a wonderful day.
So in this in this game, uh, even though the flying mechanics are comparable to those in Air Wars and Air Wars 2, which are his two other flying games, um, this one's special in terms of like uh, you crush the asteroids with your lasers to get more turbo and recharge your turbo. And um, those little sparkles that come and get your, uh, they come into your ship, <laughs> your space spacecraft. Those are new. They didn't, didn't really have that in uh, Air Wars 2. Oh, fuck. This is a casual game, but it's also just really fun. <laughs> When there's other people in the room, it's just enough challenge to still be casual, but super nice and relaxing and chill and kind of like hide and seek in a way. <laughs> Not like hide and seek, but you know, um, I'm gonna get you type of thing. <laughs> oh, Omen says, why I can't see blue players' names? I think it's when you get closer, right, Martian? The closer you get, then the names will pop up. <laughs> You're into building games. You have one under your name, but not great. But built in Unity. Sweet, friend. Yay. Are you on Unity Connect? There's a link to our Unity Connects uh, profiles. Oh my god, I, I made level- I mean, I'm like last. <laughs> you have a friend who is doing that too? Cool, Yursa. And what about you, Yursa? What are you working on lately, anyway? Yursa is also a game developer. Just started a new project? Let me know if you need any voice acting or low poly models or something. <laughs> oh god! Whenever I have free time, I'm still cheap and free. I shall- I, I'm still building my portfolio, so if any game developers ever need an extra voice in your game, I'm trying to uh, get better at voice acting and I have- um, right now I got the condenser mic, but usually when I record uh, lines specifically for a game or a cartoon, I will do like extra padding and stuff so that it's like better quality recordings. Someone's upset that they can't read names. Jenny, I see your name and the other reds, but blue, so five speed or other blue are invisible. Mm, let me look around. You're interested in game de development, but you found hard about 3D games is the modules and stuff like that. Oh, the models? Um, yeah, Martian used a bunch of models from the asset store mostly. Need to shoot you five times and after that, then your name is here. Does that sound right, Martian? It's a hybrid of different ideas. I wouldn't call that unfortunate. I would say that's fortunate because for me, like, if there's not, like, beautiful, like, aesthetics, something pretty to look at, and usually if there's no storyline to a game, I won't be interested, period. But if there's good gameplay and good visuals, then I'll like it, but if there's story and it's beautiful, then, I mean, I'll love it. Oh, thanks, Hooper! Yeah! Hmm... Hey Martian, have you- someone in game chat that you can't see my face cam's covering it, they're saying that you can't see the names until you shoot the person five times. What's the- what's the explanation behind when can you see the names on the other team's, um... Oh, you did. Okay, sorry, I missed it. 
Not to reveal where the enemies are hiding. Oh, okay. Here, I shall cut and paste that. Sorry, I'm like spinning. Oh, I can't paste. Control V, damn it. Speed says, it's sad how noobs that uh, they just have, they have the flags and they f just fly around. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Martian games use Unity for this one. Instead of going to the base. I'm like, all right, where in the hell? <laughs> where did everything go? All right, there we are. <laughs> there's, there's the asteroid belt. Let's get back to home. A dude that had that flag goes outside the map in Air Wars 2. Oh, yeah? Alright, so I'm at level two guys, so that's pretty awesome. Every time you make a game, even if it's free, can you still get played? Martian was just saying earlier today how the biggest challenge for anyone that makes a multiplayer game is having enough players. Cause like even if you learn how to make a multiplayer game, that doesn't guarantee that you'll have players. Yeah, just, um, advertisement is awesome. <laughs> Hopefully I can get one more flag while we're here. Or even worse, at Motor Wars 2, a guest that had the flag stuck to the enemy base just to shoot me. Says speed. <laughs> That's kind of cool how you can... I like how there's chat in game. It's so cool. I feel so connected to my other teammates. Hey, Graham. An evolution of the Flash game model. <laughs> yeah, I would agree that both engines are beautiful and amazing and uh, have great potential based on uh, um, your skills and your knowledge. Oh no, I'm gonna get shot down by my best friend Speed on the other team. Don't shoot me down. I got the flag, this is my chance to finally return a flag. Help friends, get those other spacecraft while I go return this flag. <laughs> oh, I don't have hardly any turbo. I've been slacking on those asteroids. Well, this. Oh god. Gentleman says Unity has got an expansive oh expensive model for indies. I would say expansive. I don't know about expensive though. Almost all the stuff that we use is free. Oh legal ramica ramifications. Oh the voice chat. Luckily for us adults, at least, uh, we can use Discord if we wanted to uh, chat while in-game. Is the game 16 plus? I don't even know. That would be so weird because a lot of his players are, in fact, pretty young. <laughs> I mean, kids love games, obviously, so... I wouldn't want to be... A 
responsible for other people's kids and stuff. Look at that! Kapla! I'm only level two. <laughs> Look at all that. So cool. Oh, I can't do that little, um, what's it called? The, um, the little thing that looks like that, the greater than symbol so I can make a heart. You had an e a level editor in a game and they made you remove it back in the flash days? No way. Because they were probably making levels that looked like penises and stuff. <laughs> That's what I would have done. <laughs> First thing, make a level that looks like a penis. Even when I'm just making a level, it always winds up looking like a penis, even if I'm not trying. Do you make your own servers, friend? You can now upgrade your spacecraft. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's go upgrade. Hi. <sighs> So many people in here, eight out of 12. Thanks for reminding me, Martian. Okay, look at all this money we have too. We want way more gun damage. Turbo, turbo shield. <laughs> all right. <laughs> no penis. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Just the other day I was trying to make a level for something, some sort of like prototype level, practicing my level design skills. <laughs> Martian was like, but it looks like a big penis. Oh, I remember it was a racetrack. And I was like, dee, 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 just doing like the track and it totally looked like a penis. Don't have to pay the monthly sub for Unity unless your studio is making more than a thousand, hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay, here's the cat. I will play a little round with the um, extra cool <laughs> kitty. Oh, there's my cat. With our upgraded plane. I mean, spacecraft. Oops. There you go. There you go. Oh my god, the sun is up. Oh, there's a beautiful sunrise coming up. Alright, friends. Probably like one more round and then I'm gonna go eat some breakfast or something. But I would be down to do another longer stream, probably tomorrow. You're the guy who gets the flag and then flying around. Oh, they're saying, they're talking to each other. How funny. Okay guys, in this game, the chat in game is like debating. The one guy is telling the other guy, duh, you should return the flag. He's like, you are the guy who just flies around with the flag and doesn't ever return it. <laughs> there's like before you realize that you gotta return the flag and then there's after you realize that you're a dumbass and been flying around with the flag. <laughs> how did Fortnite get made? Yeah, how did they do that? Didn't they um, develop for like 10 years, actually? We did watch something about Fortnite where um, they had been developing it for quite a while and then something just clicked. I think it was the Battle Royale thing. Now everyone's doing Battle Royale. Probably a noob. And they make a new map really quickly and new skins. Yeah, we would love to do that. In fact, um, when I was helping with the emissive lap maps for these spacecrafts, of course, like what I was thinking was like, wouldn't that be cool to have like the toppers, like how they have the toppers in uh, Rocket League and stuff or the skins. Like I would love, I would love to just be able to afford the time to sit around all day and like design different skins. Like I was all, I want to make a rainbow spacecraft. And Martian's like, well, you know, we got to get the game out. We got to pay rent. <laughs> 
Okay, now these guys are like, bring it on! Because the one guy who's level 5, he's like, time to side with red. Now we got the level 5 player on our team because the other guy was just like flying around with the flag. <laughs> Yeah, the free version is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They probably have like a hundred people. Our team is literally just Martian games. <laughs> Shade and then me, I get to help with a little bit of detailing. Uh, and when I'm lucky, I get to submit like a low poly 3D models that he can use or like touch up different models that are in the game. But um, yeah, they definitely have giant teams. Every time I play a game that I really like, I'll always look at the... Um, I always look at the credits and I always see so many people that are working. This guy's trying to get me because he's mad at my teammate. Hey, someone on the red team named Red. Some ass fucker is totally shooting me and I'm gonna get him. Or her. Or them. Someone got 10,000 XP? How? On god mode. <laughs> yep. You got me. Alright. XP gain ratio is insane compared to tank off, says someone. Oh, look it. Look it. Oh, he's a kitty. Oh, he's my little friend. Meow, 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 meow. Oh. oh, God. Someone just bashed me. All right, friends, I think that's going to be it for now. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. All right, guys. Um, oh, my gosh, the cat is rubbing my hand for pets. <laughs> Sweet. Um, well, we can keep this. Uh, let me just go to the lobby for now. Okay, I'm gonna open up this uh, this game uh, that I was working on a little bit today, and I'll try to show you guys my recent Unity project. 